Hey, I am playing Stitch on the Switch today. How about that? So this is an embroidery game. I know that doesn't exactly sound like a thrilling, <laughs> a thrilling game. Let's embroider. But I saw this on the Nintendo Direct. I thought it looked really clever. I like the, the, the puzzle aspect of this. Um, so we're going to get here and just show you some of the stuff that you can do. So right off the bat, at the very top, you see a current challenge. Complete two hoops from the food and drink category. And you see we have all kind of categories down here. And there's food and drink right there. Oops, went too far. Um, this one's extra small. Let's just try this one out. It's a tea set. So you can see they zoom you in. And this is how it works. You just drag, you click and drag to fill in the spots. So whatever number you see has to be within the like the cells that you fill in. And it tells you what percentage you have done. Uh, for instance, I cannot go this way with a three. It's impossible, so I have to go this way. So it's, that's pretty easy enough. Uh, these early ones here are simple. And you can go in any direction you want, like that. All right, we got a four. Now, you can't do like three across and then one down or three across and one up from four. It has to stay in a block or a line. And I don't have enough for a line, so that means the block has to be the right one. So two there, two has to go there. Um, three there, yes. And then two, two, and two. So you can see, this is a very relaxing game. There's no time limit. Um, you can take as long as you want on these puzzles. Matter of fact, if you, if I wanted to quit right now, I could just um, go back to the main menu, quit out the game. When I come back, this is in my uh, like continue hoops uh, section, so I can just pick up where I left off. So it's very nice. All right, so a six. So I can't go this way, that's only five. But I can go like that for six, or I could do that for six. So let's fill in some spots for, first so we know what we're doing here. Okay, so that eliminates everything. So there we go, that has to be the six. Now when you start getting bigger puzzles, it starts getting a lot more difficult. That's for darn sure. All right, the three. Oh, wait. See, I've got this section right here. So the only way I can get this is if I'm using the three. So the three has to be like that. And the two, same with the two. It's got to go there. Oh, these are nice and simple. Filling in them. They're just kind of filling themselves. But trust me, they do get much more difficult. And I'll show you that on the daily puzzle. And as soon as we finish this. All right, at 29%. This works fine in handheld, too. You can just use your finger or a stylus. I know a lot of people were kind of making fun of this game. They saw it in the direct. As soon as I saw, as soon as I saw it, I was like, this looks like it's going to be a fun game. And it, it really is. It's... Especially if you're in the relaxing games, cozy games, if you will. You're going to like this. All right, so that four has to go straight across. I also like how fast you can do these puzzles. The controls are nice. You can blow right through them. Uh, let's try this, this, the two. The two. No, no, no. That's not right. Two has to go there because we need that four to go across. So I'm gonna do one full puzzle here in this video, just so you can see what the heck's going on. And I picked a short one just for time, uh, which also means it's gonna be much easier than normal. Um, I think that's where we wanna go. It's like Pacross in a way that usually there's at least one move you can see that you have to make. I think we just go around like this. Three, 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 two, and two. Getting close to finishing this puzzle. 
We get to the daily puzzle. I'm not gonna play the whole thing. Um, I just played the daily puzzle briefly. Uh, right before I did this, and it is tough. So there's no way I can finish it unless I cut everything out. <laughs> so probably wouldn't be that exciting. All right, there you go. Now we need a four. This four has to go across, otherwise you're luck left with this stuff here. And this game does give you, um, oh, hey, wait a minute now. Four's gonna go that way, right? The three, no, 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 no. Hold on. Oh, okay. Two, then the four. <laughs> I had to think about that one. The three goes across, and then the three there. All right. Uh, we're coming into the end here. So that's got to be a four and a two. Four has to go across. Two's got to go that way. Two's got to go that way. Whoops, 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 whoops. Wait, what did I do wrong? Oh, okay. I didn't do anything wrong. Wait, two's got to go there. Yeah, the three had to go there, not straight down. Um, no, that's not right. Two's got to go there. All right, looks like this is it. Well, that's easy enough, and that's easy enough. <laughs> Very simple. Is that 100%? No, 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 no. Just looks like one last one. All right, now you get points. Uh, for first time doing it, you get a 15% bonus for not using any hints. There is a hint button you can use if you're really stuck. But these early ones, the small ones, you're not going to you're not going to get a hint. Now, if you saw there, um, current challenge, I finished one hoop from fruit and drink. You saw that filled in. Uh, once I do a second one, I'll get that 1150 reward. And so, what are the points for? Well, the points are for your leveling here. You're, I'm right now at a silver tier three. That's the lowest you can be in order to get the daily puzzle. You get the weekly puzzles before that. Um, and just so you can see, I continue play. This was last week's weekly puzzle, and there's a new one here. Actually, I'll open it up just so you can take a look. And this, this is a hard category, so no, I'm not going to play this long. Maybe this is one cell here. All right, so the four, like I said, has to go there, three there. Um, four, whoops, ah, come on four, there you go, all right, it has to be six, so I've started this weekly puzzle, there you go, I'm at uh, 1%, how about that, so let's look at, okay, there you go, there's the whole puzzle, Ooh, that's pretty big, that's going to take a while, yeah, some of these take a long time, which is fine, because if you back out of it, See, I'm at 1%, and down here under continue play, now I have that hoop. So I can just go back and play it whenever I want, and I've already got the 1% done. Just like um, this one here, I have 24% done on that one. And um, just go through all these categories. There's even DLC for an embroidery game. Yeah, I didn't see that one coming, but there it is. Uh, I might even get it if I finish a lot of these because it's fun. All right, so that was a, the weekly. Here's the daily puzzle, which I just got this. <clears throat> oh, as you can see, this looks it's a bit daunting here, isn't it? <laughs> oh, it's like I'm not even sure where to start. Okay, so the 10 cannot go vertically. It cannot, let's see how many lines are, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's only eight. It's eight by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. It's eight by 14. So the 10 can't go that way or that way. And it has to be in two rows or two columns of five, obviously. So I can do this. I can do that. 
Um, and by the way, they don't tell you if you're wrong. They do if you just fill in too many spots. Let's see, that could be 10. But I don't know. It could also go this way. Your 10, the number just has to be in there somewhere. Um, so I don't, man, I'm not seeing any of that. Okay, so the sevens, let me get rid of that. All right, this seven cannot go vertically. It has to go horizontally. And if it, if, if it goes like that, then the seven would have to go there. The six there, but you see, the four and the seven don't work. So, so something's not right there. Something's not right. All right. All right. Um, I wonder if you did that. Uh, three. The four would have to go this way. Forcing that to be like that. And then. No. See, you still got the problem with the seven. And the odd numbers mean you can't you, know, you can't do one of these deals because you can't like I said they have to either be a straight line or uh, if they go either vertically or horizontally but you can't veer off into like an L shape that doesn't work so that seven does not work that way so the seven probably is like that and then this seven is probably. I don't know. Maybe like that. Whoops. Sorry. That would have to go straight across like that. And then maybe the 10 is like that. That would make sense because then you have the 2 works, the 3 works, and the 2 works. And then your 6 can just come straight down. So that all works. And even the 8... And even that ain't. I'm just taking a guess here that the six is going to have to go like that. Maybe like that, that. Oh, let's see here. Oh, look at that. I finished it. Hey, well, that was cool. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to finish it. So you just have to use your brain on you know, figuring out the most likely scenario. Or, or sometimes you can just figure it straight out. All right. Well, there you go. Oh. I got some rewards. Some more hoops. Oh, nice. Well, there you go. There's Stitch for your Nintendo Switch. I don't think... I don't know if it's on anything else. I don't think it is. Um, what's in here? The system settings. Uh, there's even a tutorial, your saves. But yeah, that's it. There's a, and the puzzles go from, I think, extra small to like triple XL or maybe 4XL. I'm not, I can't remember. So there's an extra small right there for the uh, animals, that, that crab. Yeah, so it's all different sizes. So depending if you want to sit and play for a while or you just want to get in there really quickly and do it. Well, like I said, they have the save system. So if you just want to do a, big puzzle you just want to do a little bit of it and kind of knock it out every day eh, go ahead go nuts uh, so that's the game it's very simple uh, it's very relaxing if uh, that's what you're into definitely check this game out um, i've been having a lot of fun with it thanks for watching um i will see you on the next video bye